Welcome back. As we make our way through the documentation for Blender 4.0, we are going to take a look at normals and meshes in Blender. If you enjoy software educational content like this, please be sure to support the channel by liking and subscribing. Let's get started. In geometry, a normal is a direction or line that is perpendicular to something, typically a triangle or surface, but can also be relative to a line, curve, etc. Think of a normal as which way is a surface facing kind of thing? If we add a torus and then change it so that we can see the normals in the overlay, we can see that for every face, we see a line protruding out from it. These are the normal directions. Next, let's talk about auto smoothing. A go to the object's properties, object data normals. Here we can tick auto smooth. What this does is finds edges where the angle between them is smaller than this value and smooths it out. When shading of these parts of the mesh is set to smooth, this is an easier way to combine smooth and sharp edges. You won't really see anything happen with this torus, though. Try it for yourself when you have a lot of edges. However, I am adding a cylinder with some shading. Don't mind this as it isn't technically the topic of this video. By default in Blender with basic normal computing behavior, a sharp edge is always defined as an edge being either non-manifold or having at least one of its faces defined as flat. Enabling the auto smooth setting adds an extra parameter to define a sharp edge, the angle threshold between two neighbor faces, above which the edge will always be considered as sharp. Auto smooth also enables custom split normals handling, which can be either defined and edited as a mesh data layer or generated on the fly by modifiers. In any case, when a mesh gets custom normals, they always supersede the default ones computed by auto smooth. Sharp edges may still be used by the custom normals modifiers to compute their normals, depending on their settings. Briefly, let's also talk about custom split normals too. Custom split normals is a way to tweak or fake shading by pointing normals towards other directions than the default, auto-computed ones. It is mostly used in game development, where it helps counterbalance some issues generated by low-poly objects. The most common examples are low-poly trees, bushes, grass, etc., and the rounded corners. Make sure that you are in edit mode. Then go to mesh normal split. This has the side effect of enabling auto smooth as that is necessary to use custom normals. Once you have custom normals, the angle threshold of the auto smooth behavior is disabled. All non-sharp tagged edges will be considered as smooth disregarding the angle between their faces. You can also edit your custom split normals by going to mesh normals or with the shortcut on Alt plus N. And lastly, on the topic of custom normals, there are a number of tools for editing custom split normals. The custom normal mesh edit tools can affect all normals, the default, or only selected ones. To select a custom normal associated with a particular vertex and face, make the element selection mode both vertex and face. Use Shift plus the left mouse button to enable the second one. Select one or more vertices, then select a face. This can be repeated to select more vertices and a different face and so on. It is easiest to see the effect of these tools if you turn on the Edit Mode Overlays option display vertex per face normals as lines. That's all for this video on normals and modeling. Thanks for making it all the way through the video. Join us in the next video as well. If you like content like this, please be sure to support the channel by liking and subscribing. See you in the next video.